Who wants some horror? What's inside the new BAM Horror subscription box? Been chomping at the bits to get the newest BAM Horror box delivered to your doorstep? I certainly anxiously await every single month when this big BAM box of horror gets dropped up on my doorstep. I'm that person that sits by the windowsill anxiously waiting for that post person to arrive, dashing sometimes outside the door and quickly grabbing it from their grasp, making sure, of course, I'm wearing my mask at all times. But BAM does deliver to you every single month that horror, horror collectibles, horror replicas, and horror autographs delivered to your doorstep every single month. If you are somebody that enjoys horror as much as I do and would like to subscribe, if you, again, haven't yet done so, you can click the link down below and you, you can subscribe to BAM today. We're going to go ahead and open up the box. This now marks the second BAM box that we're going to be opening up this month. So I have some reason to believe that it's going to be for March 2021, just simply because we just recently opened up the BAM Geek box. I got to think that this is also going to be from March, unless they throw me a curve ball and it happens to be from the distant future that being said we're going to go ahead and get this opened up and check out the contents inside on the side you can see get featured on our website to take a selfie with your favorite items and post it using hashtag bammer which would be slightly more difficult for this channel i guess i would just have to pose it with my hands because i don't tend to be on film in too many cases. It's a box that's for fans made by fans. Yes, I did throw technically made in there, but we're going to go ahead and open up the box, check out the contents inside. And I'd like to think we're also going to have a little bit of fun as well. Probably shouldn't have done that. We're going to go ahead and take my knife, Cuttington, Mr. Cuttington the third. I'm going to quickly slice the tape from the front and we're going to open up the box to inspect the contents. First of all, we got a couple of things of, uh, Tissue paper, tissue paper. Is black tissue paper easy to come by? I always think that tissue paper should come in bright colors. Wherever they're getting this black tissue paper from, bam, give me a call. I have morbid friends that like to have their gifts wrapped up in black tissue paper. We also have inside, didn't mean to quickly grab that, the bam wallpaper packing paper as well. This tells us exactly, it brands it with BAM and tells you exactly what company has shipped this box to, like I said, our doorstep. I'm going to put that also to the side as well. I see a coin. I probably shouldn't have grabbed that first. It says Vlad Vladis Tepes, which is, of course, Dracula, or the base of what Dracula was, the character was based around. And on the other side, it says Dracula. I don't know what specific movie this is from, but pulling it out quickly... It seems to be, it is a metal coin, and it has some really nice detailing done to it. Now, there's various different Dracula movies I could have said this was from. Bram Stoker's would have been probably the obvious one I would have pulled from. There's also that Dracula, the untold story. Was that what it was called? The untold story? Dracula? It was supposed to be the movie that was part of the dark universe? What happened to that? I think I fell asleep halfway through that Dracula movie. Let me know if it was actually any good. Is it this coin from that? I don't know. We'll find out soon enough, though, as somebody quickly has beat me to the punchline and is frantically typing on their keyboard right now, telling me the answer down below. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll find out together. The next thing we're going to be looking at is the Bam Whore pin. This is Reagan from Exorcist, and it looks like she's in mid-vomit. <laughs> This is for the March 2021 collector's pin. Quite a nice looking pin as well. Not the prettiest thing to be looking at. She has a face for radio is what they would say. I've been also told I have a face for radio. Flipping around onto the back, it says this fan art pin has been created exclusively for Bambox and inspired by the artist's love of the fandom. There's a limited number of pins created and once these pins have been made, they are vaulted and never made ever again. I think, again, I probably have thrown ever in there when ever really wasn't in there in the first place. So, nice pin, though. Nice pin. Total face for the radio. The next thing we're going to have a look at is the insert card. A character with several rows of teeth. I don't know why. Again, I feel like I'm drawing a bit of a blank. Sometimes it's, it's right there. Sometimes... The filing cabinet is literally right at the door. I can open it up and pull out the file folder and have that memory on the ready. And there's other times where I may have to spend a little bit of time thinking, pondering, maybe spending a little bit of time in a cold corner, 
quiet corner with a cold lemonade and actually think about what I've seen this character from before. Somebody, again, frantically typing. I don't know what you would be typing if all those keys are so close together. It'd just basically be gibberish across the screen. Again, I don't know what this character is from, but somebody I'm sure will let me know down below. I want to say it's from an uh, American... What was that that show on TV? Yeah, you can see how what happens when you start getting a little old. Is American Gothic? American Gothic? I don't know. We'll find out soon enough. This authentication, authentic BAM fan art card featuring a unique sketch from one of our featured alley artists. This card is part of a, this year's villain series. The artist responsible for creating such a ghoulish looking face, if you can call what that is as a face, was Troy Baldwin. I'm sure he's not related to Alex or Billy Baldwin. Does anybody even remember Billy Baldwin? What's Billy Baldwin doing anymore? I think Alec, Alex Baldwin, Alec Baldwin... Is he the most famous ba Is he the most famous Alec Baldwin? That's right. The most famous Baldwin of all. <laughs> Almost sounds like I'm singing the story of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. He's the most famous Baldwin of all. The next thing we're going to have a look at is an insert card featuring, I think, a continuation of Stephen King movies, which we have been looking at in previous outings from Bambox. Uh, we've got Maximum Overdrive. I'm trying to list some of these. Children of the Corn. Uh, up at the top there, that is Pet Cemetery. Uh, is that the Dark Tower up the top right-hand corner? Some of these I'm drawing a bit of a blank to, but you guys... Is that the Cat People down below there as well? Or is that Sleepwalkers? I think that's Sleepwalkers. So like I said, there's a whole bunch of characters on the front here. Again, a continuation of the uh, the artwork that we've seen before with the other BAM boxes. Again, a certificate of authenticity is presented with this artwork. So if you are somebody that likes to hold on to this with the certificate of authenticity, a lot of times what I do end up doing is I take this artwork that's signed like this and I put it inside of a binder of sheet protectors. And then I usually take then the uh, certificate of authenticity and I put it along with the artwork. So I keep them all organized that way. The last thing we're going to have a look at is the autograph, and usually of a celebrity from a horror film. And we've got ourselves uh, trying to see the name there. It is Ben from the original 90s uh, It. I can't quite make the name out, though. It starts with a B, it ends in a C, and there's something in the middle there, a big circular O. But it's Ben. It's Ben from the, you know, the losers, the it. I'm here all day. <laughs> On the back, you've got a Beckett Certificate of Authenticity. The corresponding si signed item has been subjected to examination by an expert from Beckett Authentication Services and has been deemed authentic and genuine. This authentication can be verified using www.beckett-authentication.com and then utilizing the below authentication number in the designated area. I could just simply read off the certificate number, but because it's specific to this autograph, well, it's there. It's there. I'm going to put that to the side. A couple of other things we can look at quickly. The BAM monthly giveaway. The BAM presents the BAM monthly giveaway. Now, the Coda Bikia It Pennywise, speaking of Pennywises, I did have a look at on this channel and absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite Bush Shoujo statues. If you haven't checked out that video, do, do yourself a favor and check that out. Shameless plug for this channel. How do you win? You can post a picture with your favorite item in the BAM box using the hashtag the BAM box. And you can follow them over on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, tweet, tweet, and also on YouTube. Winner will be announced 041521. May already be too late, depending on when I get this video up. As for the featured celebrity, this will tell us right away who signed the Losers Club there. And we've got ourselves uh, Brandon Crane. Brandon Crane from the Wonder Years. That's right. He was also in the Wonder Years, one of Kevin's friends. Trying to think if he's been in anything else. I, you know those celebrities you only sort of remember from a, t a period in time and you don't really think of him as doing anything else outside of, like I said, It or The Wonder Years. Now I'm going to feel like I have to look up Brandon Crane on IMDb and see if he's actually done anything else besides those two things. Certainly both, in both cases, memorable roles. I probably remember him more so from Wonder Years because I watched Wonder Years more frequently than maybe just the odd three or four Possibly six or possibly even a dozen times I watched the 90s uh, miniseries of It. Love the Wonder Years. 
And last and certainly not least, we've got ourselves the BAM Horror Insert card, indicating that this is from March 2021. For the things featured inside, we have the celebrity autograph, the thing we were just talking about. We all remember the original It miniseries from 1990. Tim Curry as Pennywise haunted all of her dreams and put birthday clowns out of business. This box features Brandon Crane, who played the lovable Ben Hanscom and made a fun ca uh, cameo in the remake 30 years later. It's a couple of different ones that we could have gotten. I kind of liking the one that I did end up getting because it actually features the rest of the club. Whereas this one would have just been Ben on his own and this one just would have been the poster. This almost made, would have made me think it was Tim Curry's autograph. So again, I'm liking the one that I got. For the collector's pin, arguably the most famous horror movie of its time, The Exorcist broke many boundaries and started a new era of horror. Artist Brian Romero pays homage to the classic with a vomit and Reagan pin. Also be on the lookout for the Father Marin, Floating Reagan, or a black and white Floating Reagan. Uh, floating Reagan would have been fun to get as well. Artist Alley, we have a continuation. This part is the third of their four-part Stephen King Universe monster set by artist uh, Ken Hazer. Uh, each part of the scene is, uh, is its own, but all four create an epic montage we put together when put together. If you missed out on any of the two previous prints, make sure you head over to our Facebook community to look for trades. For the prop item, Vlad Tepe's Wallachia from Dracula Untold. That was the movie I was thinking of. What did I say? The Untold Story? I'm going to get partial credits, I think, for saying that. And to be if, to be fair again, I sort of, sort of fell asleep for that. Um, the 2014 film comes the replica Sultan's Coin that paid for an entire army. Uh, it says, Voy, is it Viovoid Vlad Dracul? Lastly, we have the artist select cards. S considering there are hundreds of monsters in Josh Whedon's cabin in the woods. That's what it was. It was hard to nail down the sugar plum fairy as our favorite. Artist Trey Baldwin, not related, I'm sure, to Alec Baldwin, the most famous of all the Baldwins, also created many more that are, are being randomly dropped in our horror boxes this month. And I guess that would be the variation to the Sugar Plum Fairy down below there. How fun would that be as a standalone movie? I think the makers of Cabin in the Woods should just branch out and do singular movies based on all those monsters that we saw at the end of the movie. I think that would be awesome. How awesome was this box, though? Let me know down below. And of the things that we got inside this month's box, let me know what the most awesomest of awesome pieces was. I kind of like the coin, but I think my points for awarded points for the favorite item is probably going to go to the autograph because that for me, I've always been a big fan of it and certainly the original 90s miniseries, although the remake is fantastic as well. Let me know down below in the comments section, guys. And certainly if you'd like to subscribe to the BAM Horror Box, it's simple. It's easy. It doesn't take that much time at all. Simply meander your way down to the video description. Click the link down below. Take yourself on over to the BAM a website where from there you can decide for yourself which BAM box is best for you. While you're also subscribing to things, if you haven't yet done so to this channel, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button as well. Turning the bell notification and yes, keeping peepers ever so peeled because there's always new content coming your way. And as always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.